Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. Nancy and Midian here with another live tutorial featuring glitz accessories and such of course. We just want to provide you with some fun tips and tricks tonight and some cute colors and easy designs to achieve for your clients so you know that both you and your clients will be pleased. Hopefully all of you have had a nice and successful Wednesday and are enjoying your week so far. Just going to give everyone a little bit of time so that they can tune in with us before we get started. check with the Facebook. Nancy và Miriam xin mến chào tất cả các anh chị em đang coi live trong chương trình của công ty Glitz Assassin Search vào tối ngày thứ hai và thứ tư cùng với Miriam. Hôm nay Miriam sẽ trở lại và sẽ chia sẻ hai kiểu design rất là mới là à, dùng cái technique đơn giản thôi mà mình có thể tạo được những kiểu design đá, đinh đá trên móng tay đẹp. Nếu anh chị em mình có câu hỏi gì có thể uh, uh, comment hoặc là uh, nhắn tin cho Nancy hoặc Median hoặc là có thể bỏ cái comment dưới công ty thì uh, some of us will get back to you. So give us one second that will share the quick video. Yes, feel free to share this post with any of your friends. You can tag them so that they can follow along. You can always save this post if you're on Facebook and watch it again later. And you can also check out our group Crystal Nail Obsession if you're interested, where everyone is welcome to join in and share their ideas and creativity and things of that sort. And I'm gonna share with all of you my nails for this week. They are finished and they are super simple, but they have some really cute dragon scales and glitz crystals on them this go round. They're so cute. Dragon scales. Oh yeah. Super easy to achieve, but it has a really great dramatic look. And we've got two colors picked out for tonight. I'll show each of you. Both of them have sort of a metallic finish and they are each from C&D Shellac. This pink color is C&D Shellac and Sultry Sunset. So you can see what that looks like. And then we also have Azure Wish. So those are the two colors that I'm working with this evening. Just give everyone a couple more minutes to tune in and we'll get store started here real shortly. All of the tools from Glitz Accessories that I'll be using for tonight are our Glitz Condensed Glue Gel to adhere our crystals and metal beads onto the nail. I'm also going to be using my Glitz Twin Tip Brush, which I love, and also one of my Glitz Crystal Pickers, so I can pick up all of my crystals with ease, and then the precision tip to move them around. Following that up with our Glitz Precision Glue Gel and our Glitz Non-Wipe Top Coat. So I've got everything that I need to get started. So I'll go ahead and start on our first look. Here using our CD Shellac Sultry Sunset color. I've already applied my gel polish, of course, and so I'm going to go over it with my Glitz Twin Tip Brush and Glitz Condensed Glue Gel. Hi, you. Thank you for tuning in. I got and me, Riley. Medium. So I've got. Oh, looks really good on um, building on the side right there. Mhm. Mm so 
kind of picking up just enough of my glue gel here. You want to make sure that you always replace the lids right away to any of your gel products because that way you can eliminate the opportunity for them to get um, contaminated and you can also prevent them from accidentally curing if they get too close to any sort of LED or UV light they can cure and it can ruin your product and then that would just be a waste but of course if that does happen you can always head over to the site glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com and you can get more <laughs> oh the colors hi night is that new? Meals. I don't think I've ever Ooh. used it. That's it? That's all Midi has? No, I have, a, I have some over here. But hey, but you know what? The frames can create a really cool look as well. Hi, Annette. So never underestimate those frames. So I am going to float a nice thin and even layer of my Glitz non-wipe top coat over the top of my condensed glue gel. Hi Instagram, thanks so much for spending Wednesday nights with us. I can't wait to see what Smidians come up with. She's always got something really different and special. Do you need some more of our non-white top coat? Because I've been using so many fun designs that it's starting to get a little low. Perfect. Thank you for sending hearts. Thank you so much. And thank you again, everyone tuning in with us tonight. It's the middle of the week, so let's have some fun with it. So I'm gonna go back around with my finger and just wipe away any of that excess glue gel or top coat because I don't want my nail to look bulky. Got my Glitz crystal picker, one of many. And I'm gonna apply some of our special shapes. Let me bring it here. Let me bring it here for you. Nope. I got it. I got it all. It does. I can see. I said, what happened? Why is he so dark? I thought I was just getting old and losing my vision. Me too. I've just, like, I was just gonna accept well, with, it. With the lens on, I still feel I'm so old. <laughs> Even hey. with the light? <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to fill this in with some of our smaller, I believe this is our SS5. Ooh, pretty. Jazz it up. <laughs> if anyone has any questions, of course, you can feel free to ask. You can always email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. You can also throw in any quick questions here within the comments and we can answer you live. And you can contact us also if you're interested in becoming a distributor of ours. Or if you know anyone who may be interested, we can get information to them in regards to that. You can send us an email to info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com. Mm -hmm. Or you can call us at 206-771-5086.
any question regarding to become a distributor. Also, when you're looking over our website, glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com, you are welcome to use code MIDIC, which is spelled M-I-D-I-C, and that will grant you 10% off of any order that you make through the website. And any purchase that equals $99 or more will also receive free shipping. So we're already providing you with the great quality and great value, and that's just another bonus that you can count on. So make sure that you use code MIDIC when shopping, and that's spelled M-I-D-I-C. Use some of our yellow gold metal frame using the precision end of my glitz crystal picker to gently move this in the direction that I want it to go. Yes, Night Owl's Nails. It's called Midi C. M I D I C. Yes, dear. Hopefully, everyone's staying bundled up. We know this is hopefully, at least for us, the tail end of that second polar vortex, but we're supposed to see the 60s tomorrow. Yay! It's gonna be so much better. I can't deal with too cold. I'm dying. I'm hoping that using nice, fun, bright colors will bring on some warm weather. Yes, look at Midi Nails. Midi Nails is so beautiful and low-key. She saved that big, fancy nails for next yes. week. So if you are in locals, Pensacola, Florida, we are going to have the <coughs> shows at Nailco Wholesale Supplies. March 17, so come and Miss Midi and Jenny in person. They will be there, answer all the questions that you need, you may have, joyous. Yes, we'll be there ready to meet all of you and show you up close all of the great products that we have to offer and some fun ways to use them as well. Yeah. Mix to Midi. Mm, lights out. Oh my gosh, you're intentionally making a mess. You usually do it on accident, but that's this is a whole nother level. <laughs> you're getting didn't bold. In, didn't in purpose. Oh my gosh, Nancy's making a mess. Oh, Midi, look good. Oh my goodness. So cool. Getting some drama. I love this sort of bright pink mixed with a beautiful gold and all the AB crystals. Yes. Why are you so fancy? Why? I don't know. You can be fancy like me if you want. I am doing it now. Yes, I can be copy for median. Fancy. You cannot copy me, but you can be inspired by me uh, and make it your own. <laughs> I'm gonna copy. No. <laughs> I'm gonna hijack. Oh my gosh. No you're making problem. messes, you're copying me. Who are you? I'm gonna just move this over a little bit because I don't want any of these pieces to be right on the very edge of the nail. Because if this were on a client's hand, they would be more apt to bump it and knock it off much sooner than necessary. If everything is placed and utilized, just the right way, these should last your clients up to three weeks. 
Now, if they're really aggressive on their nails and they go dig in the garden and maybe they work in the kitchen, you'll have to sort of test it out and see what you want to get the most duration out of your design as possible. Cute. That's cool, Nikki. I can oh. tell, I can tell. I'm gonna put this into the light for 60 seconds to cure and I'm gonna rock, if you had your client here, you'd ask them to rock their hand gently from side to side so that it can cure all the way around. But since my client's not here, I'll do the work myself. Just wanna make sure that everything has cured underneath the light adequately. Swipe or no swiping? I'm just kidding. I get, I get it from Meaty. Thank you, Meaty. For sharing. Just give that a few more seconds to cure before I follow this up with precision glue gel. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Thanks for tuning in. She couldn't stay away from us. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Nancy's working on something cool. I put a natural stone on there. You see that? Thank you for throwing your love at us. So I'll show all of you here my first look using our CND shellac and our glitz crystals and gold frame as well as our yellow gold metal bead this is cool it's like a coat of arms like on a shield so i'm going to take my glitz precision glue gel and i'm going to make sure that all of this is sealed in properly i don't want there to be any room for my client's hair to catch on their nails or any thing that they might be wearing or any sort of furniture. So I'm just going to feel around first because I don't actually need precision glue gel everywhere because it'll just create a lumpy bumpy mess and you'll be able to see it and it'll be distracting from your overall look. So I'm just feeling around first and as I do apply my glue gel. Hey Lisa! It's just a very so said, small Miss Lisa. amount. Hi there. All right, Miss Lisa, how are you? Little Lisa. Are you coming to see me on the spring break, Lisa? paying special attention to these metal frames here that are raised a bit higher than some of my typical crystals. Don't want them to catch. I also try to utilize my SS5 AB crystals and my yellow gold metal beads so that they could block those high raised edges. So that was intentional. Intentional and cute. You want your fashion to be functional. Everything looks good and feels good. So I'm going to go ahead and place this back under the light for 60 more seconds so that it can completely cure. Lisa said she'll come see you for spring break. Okay, we'll be here. So I'm just rocking that side to side so that it can cure properly all the way around. I'm also dropping things. And most importantly, taking my safety cap for my precision glue gel, and I'm going to place it back so that none of this leaks and spills. Putting my lid back on as well. So that's got just about 30 more seconds of curing. Make sure that as you're going through the website, if you have any questions, of course, let us know. You can email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com 
or if you're watching along with us live right now you can always shoot us a comment if it's something that we can answer fairly easily yes. don't be afraid to ask we can always send you pictures as well, some examples of how to use certain crystals and certain designs that are found on the site. If you see something you really like and maybe you haven't found the video for it, mm -hmm. we I'm sure we have examples and we can get back to you pretty yes, quickly. We can send you a link for the video as well. And if you need any translation into Vietnamese, we have Nancy here who is an all-star and she can answer those questions and take care of that translation for you as well. Hi, NCY Nails. You are questioning us here at the end of our first design. We're about to move over to our second. Isn't this so cute? <coughs> I want it. I don't know. I usually don't hold my design up for that long, but like I really like it. And you can see that I've used my precision glue gel and it's not bulky and it's not raised over the crystals because that would take away from their design because they're specifically cut a certain way to reflect the light. And be beautiful and awesome so we're gonna put this one aside now that I've stopped ogling over it and we're going to move on to our second look here using C&D shellac's azure wish so something a little different I've got my two coats of my gel color so I'm gonna take my glitz twin tip brush and my glitz condensed glue gel Open this up. I have a nice Thank fresh pot. by using your brush. Mm. <coughs> so I'm going to pick up some of my condensed glue gel. And as you work with this product, it's one of those things you really just have to get hands on with. So if you are going to be in the local Pensacola area, definitely come out on March 17th. It is St. Patrick's Day. It is a Sunday and see us at Nailco because we'll have all of these products. They have all the products there and we'll be able to do some demonstrations in person. And that will give you a good opportunity to get hands on so you can feel the consistency of this product, how it feels on the brush and sort of get an idea better idea of how much you need per application because there's a difference between using it with like an SS5 versus a special design flat back versus maybe your 3D Pearl and it is good to practice and and get that first look. I agree with me. So I'm going to take my mm -hmm. glitz non-wipe top coat as well. I'm going to float that. Super cute, that. love it. Thanks. And see these nails. I'm going to float this over the top of my condensed glue gel. I don't want to press down and mix it in, and I also don't want it super thick. Because if you mix the two together and that condensed glue gel comes to the surface, or if you just don't cover it, it will not have its top coat, obviously, and it will remain a little bit tacky. A little bit. So it can make it appear dull or it can get dirty over the next couple of days for your client. And then also you don't want it to be too thick because with any of your gel product, if it gets too thick, it can't cure properly and it's possible that it'll peel. Oh, cute. So I'm gonna just remove any excess that might be here. We've already got a gorgeous shape for our client's nail, so we don't want to make that bulky and give them wide looking fingers. We want to stay nice and sleek. So I've got my Glitz Crystal Picker. And we're gonna apply some special shapes here. Starting with my star. And even just like that, I think it's super cute. <laughs> That's it. All done. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going to add on some tiny raindrops. I'm actually going to push that down and pull these down so that's not lying in my client's cuticle. Fancy. 
mini the top part this is all that natural stone oh uh, yeah i know because that's not as smooth it's different leaving i want all these to be close because i want them to adhere to each other but i'm leaving a tiny amount of space just so that the light can cure all of that gel product in between and so that it doesn't stay wet but you still want it to be close both for a nice neat design and also so that the product can adhere each crystal to the other and what i'm going to also throw into this look is some of our dragon scales so let's see what kind I want to use. Oh look, there's some bonus in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a crystal in here. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, bonus. I like bonus. That's your bonus, baby. This is your tax refund. <laughs> bonus. <laughs> Kit Buds Dragon Scales. Move these into the bunch here. Sometimes you can use a lot of dragon scales. Sometimes it's nice just to have a few, just to add a little extra accent into your look. I'm just gonna figure it out. If anyone is just tuning in with us, we are on our second design for the evening. Midian, myself and Nancy here, representing glitz accessories and such and sharing with you some of our favorite tips and tricks to achieve happiness and awesomeness for our clients. <laughs> and then you have fun and you make extra a lot of money. Yes. 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 This all comes down to you investing in your business and getting so much more in return. And give you that great value, that high quality. Plus we're here to support you along the way. Whenever you receive your items from us, from Glitz Accessories and such, you can always upload your work to social media and use hashtag Glitz Accessories and such or simply use hashtag Glitz Crystals. That way we'll be able to find your work through social media, either Facebook or Instagram, and that way we can actually feature you on our page as well. We love to feature all of our fellow artists as you support us we want to support you right back so that is an option you can also when shopping with us use code at checkout midi c it's spelled m-i-d-i-c if you enter that code in you'll save 10 percent off your entire order no matter what However, if your order does reach $99 or more, then you'll also receive free shipping. So that's just saving you extra money. It definitely doesn't hurt. It only helps. Yes. Yay. I'm just fitting in a few more dragon scales here. I don't want to do too many and take away from my special shape crystals in the center. But it just keeps getting cooler and cooler, so. So cool. I just keep adding to it. I have it right here. Thank you. That's the one thing I always count on you to bring. What? On me? Yeah, the little yeah. tray. My presentation right plate.
I got you. In the midst of all the natural storm. Nancy's doing her homework. Yes. This fun homework right here. Tapping into her creative sources. so much fun to walk in. Absolutely. Let's see, I might add in just a few more towards the top. Excuse me. Jamie. I'm gonna make it. Or I'm at least gonna try. Much it's better than long, I was doing last week. What a long two weeks already, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much I what I'm doing. It's an allergy, yeah. Allergic. Just the weather. Maybe the weather will have mercy on me. Doesn't help. Love this precision tip and working with our glue gel because if I place something and then I need to go back in and revise it. It's pretty much this becomes my little revision tool. That's how I like to look at it. Just revising my design into something better. Ooh, I like that dragon scale mini. It reflects so nicely with the blue. Mm -hmm. And it also reflects those AB crystals, so it picks up a little pink, little purple, a little everything. Everything. I want it all. What do you guys think, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my goodness. I'm blinking my eyes out to yeah. refocus the camera here. <laughs> oh, I think that I'm going to leave it just like that. Just kidding. You keep adding it more. <laughs> I saw an opportunity. I took it. Okay, now I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm addicted, Nancy. And then you keep adding it more. I don't want to go through the withdrawals. I just want more. Now I'm just... going to put this into the light and let it cure for 60 whole seconds. And asking my imaginary friend, a.k.a. my imaginary client, to rock their hand back and forth under the light. Just so that it can cure all the way around. And thank you to everyone tuning in with us tonight. Of course, we're having a lot of fun here. We started a little bit earlier than usual, but it looks like quite a few of you are here with us. So I'm glad. Mm -hmm. If you miss this and catch the tail end of it, you can always watch it later on Instagram for 24 hours. On Facebook as well, it will actually be saved and posted. You can find us on YouTube. You can pin us on Pinterest. 
you can find our hashtag let's accessories and such or hashtag let's crystals you can find us everywhere and you are all welcome to join our group which is crystal nail obsession everyone is welcome to join in and share anything you might find interesting or inspirational as long as it is in the realm of nails and crystal embellishments definitely join us we can sh all share our ideas. So now that this is finished curing, I can feel around and feel that there's just a few little areas I need to go back over with my precision glue gel. You don't typically need to go over the dragon scales very much because they sit so close to the nail. Then again, if it feels like you should, of course you can always go back over. So let's do that, taking off our cap and our safety cap from the Precision Glue Gel. And before I apply any product, I'm just gonna feel around first. Anything that's lifted, anything that's sharp, anything that's gonna just irritate your client because if they can feel it, they're more likely to sit there and pick at it, and that's just going to promote it to lift. Ooh, I don't want it. No, don't do. Just very gently apply it, as very little pressure as possible to this bottle so that you don't overflow. If you do, you can always use the fine end of your twin tip brush and you can brush out your product you can brush out your precision glue gel and if that doesn't fix it you can always go back over and apply a final thin layer of your glitz non-wipe top coat just to make sure everything looks smooth and glossy that's and a good tip and tricks yeah don't be afraid to just if you need to do it just go back in because your client would rather you take three to five more minutes to do that rather than to let them walk out and then they either don't come back or they do have to come back and take time out of their day to have you fix it again later. They might look at it and it looks slumpy or bumpy or it catches and falls off and maybe that's the first time they've ever been to you and they might just lose hope right there. So don't even give them the opportunity to do that. Let them see that you care and that you're invested in them and that you take the time to make them happy. And they will be happy. Plus everything just photographs so well when it's nice and smooth. So I've gone on all my crystals, anything that looks like it might catch in my client's hair, anything that looks like it might get moisture trapped or dirt trapped underneath. We want to keep those germs out. You don't want it to get grimy. Now I'm carrying that for 60 seconds, rocking back and forth, and also placing my safety cap. I'll be 27 in April, but I'm pretty sure that my eyes are like 67, so. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me about that. <laughs> it's happening. I've never had glasses or contacts, and I don't want them. I'll just have to go blind. Just don't tell me. I need us, my dogs to be seeing eye dogs. <laughs> and they can help me do nails. <laughs> I think I need glass on my too. Mm -hmm. I just love my dragon scales so much. And my little purple glitz crystals. It looks really pretty together. As well as my dipping powder. You can, only, you can absolutely apply this over dipping powder. So what I did since I had finished mine... From start to finish top coat and everything is I went back and I lightly buffed over the surface of that top coat and I roughed it up just enough so that I could apply a thin layer of a gel base coat and I just flash cured that for about 10 seconds and then I went ahead and applied my glitz condensed glue gel and my non-wipe top coat placed on my crystals of dragon scales and cured it just like I'm showing you in the video tonight so that is a fun tip and trick, if you're using dipping powder or you're using liquid and powder, you can still use our glitz accessories. You just want to make sure that you follow those steps and try to remember to apply a gel base coat just in case because it's possible for all of your crystals to peel off of the nail 
if not properly prepped beforehand. Mm -hmm. And that's going to make your client sad, and that would make me sad. I would just not be able to sleep that night. So I'm feeling around, and everything feels smooth. I don't think that my client would have any issue with this nail at all. Hopefully they would love it and be obsessed and book for the whole next it's year so every two weeks. <laughs> Looks cool. the good combination of both. I can tell them. So I'm gonna place this next to my original design that I did earlier tonight, so I can show all of you side by side just two of the many many options that we have here at Glitz Accessories and such. There are you these. You can also check out the Dragon Scale kit. Yes, you can. Any special shapes. We have plenty and of always you can shapes. using code MEDIC to save 10% off everything you want. <coughs> yes, as Nancy mentioned, if you're interested, we have an entire Dragon Scale kit already prepared on the website. You don't even have to go through and think about which products you need to go with it or which colors. Mm -hmm. Everything's included from start to finish that you would need to apply these and achieve this look. <laughs> these are fun as one color they're also really fun to ombre together yes <coughs> absolutely so yes you can check out our kits on our website feel free to forward any questions that you may have about anything and above all else use code midi c which is spelled m-i-d-i-c and that will grant you 10 percent off your entire order no matter what it is if you're buying one thing if you're getting five kits it doesn't matter but if you do happen to add um, up to $99 total or more then you'll also automatically receive free shipping so be sure to take advantage of that as well here's some examples we've got our metal bead we've got some ombre happening and we have two different designs as well as multiple colors of our dragon scale. So these are just some options, some examples. These are all so pretty. And then we have some more here. So feel free to check out the website. If you'd like us to send you any additional information that may not already be included and we didn't cover in our video, feel free to send us a message and we yes. can answer that and we can send you more examples of various kits and various ideas and designs, special shapes, holochromatic powder, anything that we have on the site, we can help you out with so that you can get started and get the most bang for your buck because whatever you invest of course you want to get back tenfold and we can help you do that yes is Yay. that the color that you did the color that i just did is this one sky drum scale so it's sort of cool to see it there like compared it. to just partially covering the nail mm -hmm. reflecting the blue yes so different effect depending on what you pair it with that is so fun Awesome. Thank you, Minions, for a great live tutorial tonight. And when you check out on uh, our website, Glitz Accessory and such, and any item you added on the a la carte, you can use code MIDIC, M I D I C, to receive 10% off all entire your purchase. Yes. Free money. Yeah. Free, 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 money. free, free shipping free. over $99. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Ginny will be back with all of you on Friday, so be sure to tune in with all of her great ideas. Um, she always comes up with so many fun ideas and has really fun tips and tricks that save you time. And I will be back with all of you on Monday, Monday. so be sure to check in. I will be posting an image of these looks on both my Instagram and Facebook. If you want to look at my Instagram, it's Midian Kosin. M-I-D-I-A-N-C-O-S-S-O-N. -S -S and of course, you can find me already tagged on the Glitz Accessories and such Facebook and Instagram. And you can follow directly from those posts. Yes. So we will see you on Friday with Jenny. And I will see all of you again on Monday. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday night and the rest of your week. And Thank we'll you. see you later. Yep, we'll see you. Thank you. Good night.